I think technology has allowed for a lot of this, this innovation. The way that the music industry used to be in the year like 2000, for example, when CDs were the, the primary way that people consumed music. If you didn't have a major label, you didn't have major label distribution to get your CD into Walmart. So you essentially weren't in the game. Because that's how your passive listener actually consumed, was you know, walking through Walmart and finding a CD that looked appealing and kind of taking it from there. So with the way that distribution is now, it's kind of opened that up a lot to where it's virtually free to get my music on Spotify. I'm on Spotify, Drake's on Spotify. Um, so technology has pushed it in a variety of ways. Um, but yeah, I guess I basically merged my digital marketing um, knowledge with my music business knowledge and I tried to find ways that in the new landscape that, uh, that technology has provided for the music business, I could kind of take advantage of that. And you know, with, with like digital advertising platforms, uh, Facebook and Instagram, Universal Music Group is using that, I'm using that independently. Um, and so I just saw that if I, can, if I can operate like a label and do the things that labels are doing on a smaller scale, I can, I can build it and not have to give up that ownership. It's sort of like delaying the gratification of you know, having an advance for, for the idea that I can have a lot more in the future if I'm able to scale. Has a nine to five working for you, how that drive working for you, never stop working now I'm in the drive, doing 